Bison. I'm Mr. Hushback, and this is Bison Good News. Hi Bison Nation, welcome to BGN, our new network here that we're going to have since we're uh, doing online learning. And I could take this moment to give a little shout out to John Gronkowski. Krasinski. Oh, who cares? Uh, but he's a rich celebrity, doesn't really need it. And I don't know if you know this or not, but I hear his wife's a rich celebrity, so, you know. And let's all be honest, Parks and Recreation is a far superior show to The, o the Office, is it called? Never yes. seen it. Anyway, we're going to have some good news today, Bison. So I hope that you are ready to watch. And first off, Bison, we uh, are going to congratulate Mr. Paul Evans. I guess uh, all week he's been using the Teacher of the Month parking spot, and nobody said a word to him. So congratulations, Mr. Evans. You are Teacher of the Month for this week. Good job. This week? Yeah. And another congratulations is going to go out to Tiffany Jones's two-year-old, who is rocking potty training. Mom is very proud. Great job. And in the National Basketball Association, oh, hold, hold on, hold on. Oh, I have an emergency broadcast. Um, apparently, Mr. Paul Weatherford defended his thesis yesterday exploring Kendrick Lamar, satire and hip hop in the classroom. We hear he did an amazing job and everyone is proud of him. Good job, Mr. Weatherford, we salute you. Yeah! And in our quilting news today, Miss Tasha just finished up 100 quilt blocks while quarantining at home. This passion project was a mystery quilt, so she didn't know what it would look like until it was done. Good job, Miss Tasha. You know, I was thinking, have you ever been in a situation where you have like three smoke detectors in your house and the uh, battery goes out on one of them and it's just chirping like crazy and you're like, oh, I gotta figure out which battery it is because you know that one of your smoke detector batteries is the one over the stairs where you have to get out the ladder and climb up the ladder on the stairwell and it's just a mess but then you remind yourself, if I don't get this fixed then my dachshund's just gonna keep running around the house peeing everywhere. <laughs> so you do get out your ladder go to the stairs, climb up the ladder, change the battery, and then you realize you're looking around at just how dirty this place is. But, no big deal, because we got a lot of extra time. So, ladder's already out, might as well get up the ladder and clean all the dust bunnies off of the corners of your ceiling. Has that ever happened to you? Anyway. Now for some bison cheer and solidarity activities, bison. You need to do these. This is your homework from the BGN network. So, first of all, Interact Club has come up with a great idea, um, but you have to do it before Easter. So you need to get some paper, get some colored pencils or some markers, some crayons, whatever, and make giant paper Easter eggs. And you are then going to tape those into your windows, your outside windows in the front of your house, so that as people drive by, they will see the Easter eggs, and they'll get some spring cheer from South High. So do that. It's important. And another activity that you can do, not just for Easter, but every day of the week, is our Howl at Eight idea that we're going to be doing. And uh, what we want to do is at 8 o'clock at night, we are going to go outside and howl. And the howling will be in full support of our medical personnel, our essential workers, and all the other people that are really working hard right now for us. Now, we do have a video of some of our South High Bison performing this task right now. Hey Bison, Mr. Sizemore here. Just spending some time with my family here right before eight o'clock. Let's make sure that we are lighting up the south side of Cheyenne at 8 o'clock every night with our howls. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Howl! 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 
And finally, Bison, we have this weekend's weather. Saturday is going to be p.m. showers and windy with a high of 57 and a low of four, 14. Oof. Sunday's a.m. showers with a high of 21 and a low of 7. Mm. Monday is snow showers with a high of 30 and a low of 11. Tuesday will be partly cloudy with a high of 34 and a low of 13. Mm. Wednesday's partly cloudy with a high of 45, so we'll be back to normal on Wednesday. Until then, enjoy being cozy and warm with all your warm blankets inside of your house this weekend because it is going to be cold. Well, that's all we have today, Bison. We are honorable, enthusiastic, responsible, and determined. We are South.